My name is Emily Scalera. I'm in the 11th grade at Martha Ellis Stillwell School of the Arts, and this is my Loss of Life essay. Click clack clung. The rhythm of nickels makes my ears ring for the second time this week. I watched Thomas Jefferson's silver face spiral down into the bright coin star in the middle of the depot. Beep, beep, beep. My receipt prints out. 3220 Emma, I turn over to face my mom as I read out the amount. We readily grabbed only the essentials. My family and I had turned to exchanging coins at our lowest points in hopes of always making ends meet. Family debt had become a financial burden I have had to overcome as college approached closer to my future. As COVID-19 made its way into our lives, everyone started to lose their jobs, including my dad. The rent, bills, and groceries all became the first thing on our minds. How are we supposed to make do with no income? Loans were the only possible solution at the moment, but as the loans continued to mount up, it was only a matter of time before my parents let me know that they would be of no financial support for my college career. I felt as though my world came crashing down on me. I lost control of the little assistance I thought I could rely on, but I knew there had to be an approach to overcome the situation. A bright yellow bulb lit up as I turned the light switch entering the dining room. One in my head soon followed. For as long as I can remember, I loved baking. It was, a bit, it was a way for me to channel my passion for art, as well as a way for people around me to indulge in delicious sweets. Without a second thought, I got to work, first creating my logo, then a business card, soon after an Instagram platform. The only thing left was to get to baking, where I made sure to experiment with the multiple different recipes I had in mind. In the blink of an eye, I had created my very own business. Soon then came orders, from small arrangements to now catering to weddings. Not only did I create a business, but an outlet for myself during stressful times. My business had allowed me to learn how to manage my finances, be organized, and above all, communicate with people. Though my parents' finances are out of my reach, I created a way to have control over what I believed I had lost. All in all, not only has this experience taught me to remain humble, but to prosper in the process. With a teaspoon of power and a cup of courage, I made sure I saved for myself and my future endeavors. Family debt was an obstacle I overcame in the process of facing the hard truth that I would be financially responsible if I wanted to pursue my college career. Everyone in their life has, has experienced hardship, but it's not what happens to you, but how we choose to conquer our obstacle. As Harry Golden once stated, the only thing that overcomes hard luck is hard work. I'd like to thank my teacher, Ms. Washington, for encouraging me to submit my essay, as well as everyone in the Georgia Loss of Life Committee and the Georgia Rotary for this opportunity.